Hello everybody, this is Cirque 1983 and I'm back. Let's uh, figure out what their new mission is. Talk to Quistus. Okay, it's time to meet. Let's go. <sighs> oh, one more thing I was meaning to... Uh, oops, what am I going out there for? Okay, yeah, you just gotta wait here. Uh, talk to everybody, I guess. But yeah, so uh, I was uh, actually meaning to talk about uh, the uh, dragon skins and fury fragment and all that. Uh, with the dragon skin, the fury fragment, I think is it, is it the dragon? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's a dragon skin. But uh, yeah, you can actually it dragon skin and fury fragment. You can actually get Zell's next weapon, the second best weapon. Um, but the thing is, it's exact same ingredients you need for. Uh, the uh, the air guy is his best weapon, but the only difference is the air guy requires the adamantine. So basically, uh, if you keep the uh, dragon skin and the fury fragment, you can just wait until you can get the adamantine shortly, and then you know get the air guys and not have to go through the uh, having to fight the uh, the anacondas and all that stuff again. Anyways, so just see, it'll be less complicated that way. All right. And Renault was a bit late. <laughs> Good day. I have official orders from Headmaster Sid addressed to you following regulations. I have gone over these orders. After careful consideration of our options, we have decided to fully assist and cooperate with Headmaster Sid. We too have been planning for this for quite some time now. No to stress the importance of this mission, I must first brief you on the current situation. At ease. You all know about the sorceress being appointed as a peace ambassador for the Galbidian government. However, this ambassador thing is just a cover up. There will be no peace talks, only threats. Uh oh. Sorceress creates fear among people, therefore, peace talks are impossible. Galbidia is planning to use this fear to negotiate favorable conditions for itself. Hmm, cool. Nice, uh, nice way to uh, usurp the, the world from everybody, eh? It's clear that Galvedi's ultimate goal is world domination. Yep. Garden is no exception either. There's a fact that the source is planning to use this garden as her base. Whoa, how do you feel about that, Martine? We have very few options available to us. We entrust world peace and the future to you. <laughs> Don't put too much on our shoulders, jeez. <laughs> Details of the mission are enclosed in these official orders. Any questions? Or to say by means of a sniper. We have no one with that skill. Don't worry about it. Let me introduce an elite sharpshooter from Galbadia Garden. Kidius. Irvin Kidius. And he is our sixth member. I don't know why. This guy kind of reminds me of... Uh, What's his face? Uh, Heath Ledger in The Brokeback Mountain. <laughs> I actually haven't seen that movie, but for some reason he just strikes me as that. Anyways. Could he be a sharpshooter? Leave whenever you're ready. Alrighty. Failure is not an option. Whoa. <laughs> okay, here we go. Hurry up. Alright, talk to somebody. What's our next mission? Next mission... This is no ordinary mission. It's a direct order from both Balam and Galbadia Garden. We're to assassinate the sorceress. Booyah! <laughs> That's the, uh, the cherry bomb. We're to shoot her from afar. Kinius will be our sharpshooter. We're to support Kinius to our fullest. Should the sniper fail, we are to attack head on. Thanks for the support, but I never miss my target. Eliminate the sorceress, that's our order. We're going to head to the capital of Galbadia, Diling City. Ooh. 
There I will meet up with General Caraway to go over the details for the plan. Let's get going. Well then. We need to choose a party for the trip to Dealing City. Alrighty, this can actually get kind of funny. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, <laughs> if you actually go with this, it's actually pretty funny. Um, I'm actually going to do that because, you know, just to, to give you a couple laughs in, the, <laughs> in terms of what happens. But, uh, no, this isn't the party I want to go with. Um, as I said before, you pretty much want to keep uh, Zell, uh, well, Zell, Sirik, and uh, Renoa together the entire time, pretty much. So, uh, yeah. Um, so yeah, I'll do this, and then I'll uh, reload it, and then uh, I'll come back. I'll meet you back here after I've done that. But anyway, here we go. Yeah, whatever. Have a good time. <laughs> are you being sarcastic? You are, aren't you? Well, fine then. We will have a good time. We understand very well. Come on, Mr. Kinius, let's go. <laughs> Call me Irvin. <laughs> Pretty lucky guy, hand in hand with two beautiful girls. Irvin Kinney Poo. <laughs> I'll make you happy. <laughs> There's something terrible women, I just don't understand them. <laughs> Obviously not. <laughs> I think I feel sick. <laughs> Irvin Kinney is a loser. Come on, sir, let's go. <laughs> Alrighty. Sir, let's get going. Sir, get there before they do. <laughs> Grow up. Alrighty, so yeah, that that was the funny one. So that is not the party. That is not the party I want to go with, and I don't think you can change it after this. So uh, yeah, I'll just uh, cut it off here, and I'll reload, and I'll be back in a second. Hello, this is certain. Uh, yeah, I guess uh, you know who I am. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, I'm back, and uh, yeah, I just reloaded, went through the whole spiel again, and yeah, I do not want this kind of party. I think the intentions are that you take Renoa and Urban with Cyric, uh, and then. Put Quest of Zell and uh, Selfie together. Um, like I guess the only problem is I like to keep uh, Reno and Zell with me. Um, you know what? I think I will go with what the what the intention is. All right, so switch junctions between Zell and Irvin. And one thing you might have noticed while you were uh, another thing I forgot to mention. There's so much anyway. So uh, with uh, Reno with Angelo and Reno. Um, you don't need to go into overdrive mode in order to get uh, Angelo into the battle. Uh, if Renault gets attacked, there's actually a chance that Angelo will come in and actually hit the the enemy for a decent amount of damage. So uh, you may <laughs> you might have had to uh, deal with that, and uh, yeah, it can get kind of uh, annoying, almost as annoying as Odin. Anyway, so you probably know who he is if you played any other fan Final Fantasies before now. And yeah, it can be kind of annoying when it's not predictable. Anyways, so yeah. Excellent choice, Mr. Leader. Yeah, see. Switch party options, let me know if you how to... Yeah, it just basically tells you how to switch parties. We've been pretty much doing it all game, and they just give us the tutorial now. Yeah, right. Anyway, so yeah. Everybody's junction the way they should be, I believe. And, yeah. Alright, so... Where am I? Oh, okay, there's the tree. So yeah, just head up here. Yeah, stop the visual. Anyway, three thousand gil. Yep, as well. <laughs> Quick learner. <laughs> Confirming access granted. Oop, where is everybody? Oop, there they are. Yeah, you pretty much just got to go out that door in order to trigger everybody else. Eee, you cut on! <laughs> Alrighty. This train bound for Dealing City will be departing shortly. For no laughing at. This is the only train bound for Deling City, anyway. <laughs> yeah, I guess that is kind of funny. <laughs> Perhaps it's fate. Uh oh, we got a troublemaker. What do you do about him? Alrighty. 
Selfie, we're destined to be together. Yeah, right. A sign of love? No! Pardon me. Where's Penny? What is this I'm feeling? Is more admission to used to the angling pressure while you still can. <sighs> Alright, so yeah, I'm gonna be basically be going into another uh, whole bunch of uh, conversation. Lots of talking in this game. Anyway, so yeah, I'll uh, stop here and I'll uh, see you in the next video. This is Sirik1983 signing off. Have a good one.